addition the general of that reserve race 25. Hi! What are you doing? Right, first vlog of the trip, attempt two. <laughs> because I did film, I started to film our day at uh, Kentucky Kingdom yesterday. The weather was not on our side. There goes Batman. Georgia, like that girl in your class you didn't like, it's Georgia. Um, but yeah, we're here today, and the weather is um, much, impo much improved. I haven't put any sun cream on because I'm an idiot. Um, oh well. <laughs> I thought about it this morning as well. I looked at it and went near. Um, but yeah, alas. Uh, so yeah, pray for me. Pray for my skin. I can feel it burning and crisping up, crisping up already. Um, but yeah, excited for what? If there was, if there was like a bit of a full start yesterday, we had a really fun day. Regardless, we went to Nashville last night, and we did have a fun day in the park. Like we're just hanging out. Um, but it did feel like a bit of a full start. This this kind of feels like the first park of the trip, um, which is fun. I haven't been here since 2014, so eight years ago. Looking forward to getting back on Goliath. Looking forward to getting back on Monster Mansion. There's a dark ride oh, here. Yeah. It's a six Oh, that's a dark ride and it's a spooky dark ride my favorite with like monsters that kind of look like Muppets um, so that's cute and there's an RMC here since I last came um, so that's a credit for me and also Ninja was not operating when I came so hopefully it's operating today it might not be it's notorious for not operating um, we'll see have a fun day ahead of us can't wait I need this entrance really vividly. I think it's the only Six Flags entrance from that trip that I really remember. And I am now a Six Flags annual pass holder. That was so easy. I had the Accesso ticket and then the guy at the front had like this scanner thing. He scanned it, pulled this out of his little apron, took my photo, bish bash bosh, we're walking towards Twisted Cyclone. Easy. Love it. That was very convenient. Very, very convenient. Spooky. Is that the Nemesis partner? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, as discussed, this is the uh, one of the creds that uh, I require. So I guess this is what we're doing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Stupid <laughs> question. Absolutely. Let's do it. It's so pretty. I love the pastel colours. How stunning. Is it, are they going to make us put bags in lockers or anything? Or can we break when we go in? Thank you. <laughs> down in the <laughs> we just rode. I keep wanting to say Twisted Colossus. It's not called Twisted Colossus. It's called Twisted yeah, it Cyclone. Like, you know. It was so fun. Me and Ryan waited for the front. These guys went on the back. Do you know what? After riding that, I just had a really good fun time. The first drop, I was like, I genuinely, I can't see the bottom of the drop, drop and I don't know which way I'm going. Um, so that was fun. Um, the thing I really liked about it is because... You know, um, I was saying yesterday, well, I was going to say yesterday, you haven't seen the vlog from yesterday because I haven't put it out. 
we went on um, <laughs> Storm Chaser yesterday, and as much as I love Storm Chaser, um, it's not very re-rideable. It's quite um, brutal, I find, and I find it quite painful. Whereas I came off that and I was like, I could go round on that again. Like right now, I don't have to take a minute. Um, I really liked it. I'm really looking forward to going on that again later. Um, I, I don't think I would try the back because the front was so fun. I'll just do the front again. Um, yeah, really good. Also, we know I love me a Key West Margaritaville Jimmy Buffett ass colour scheme theme Twisted Cyclone has like shed loads we love it we're gonna go ride some more creds I don't even know where we're going I don't remember the layout of this park at all I remember the entrance and then um, nothing else like I know that I really liked Monster Mansion and I know that I've got a coma that's so loud I know I know that I, uh, yeah, I've got the Vacoma to get, but I can't remember the layout. I'm just gonna have a wander. <laughs> These guys just went on the Dallanaga mine train. Did you say it was rough? Yeah, it was. Yeah. But it was fun. It was fun, rough. Yeah? Yeah. You're done fright fest. Spooky! Right. <laughs> How many crates you done to go? To go? How many got to go? Well, I don't know what's at this park. <laughs> Is it? I want to say How there's 10 left, left to go. 12 left to go. My god, who hat? I don't know where we're wandering. We're literally just wandering around and getting the queue of whatever we can find. So, what's up next? Well, the kitty, Tune it? in to find out more. Who the fuck knows? There's Bugs Bunny. What a glorious Six Flags day we're having. It's hot as fuck. <laughs> See ya. Oh, they're not even on this one. Oh, they would be. Yes! Hyper, hyper, you're pretty and I like. We just did Goliath, the park's B&M hyper coaster. Alex and I went ahead and rode second row. These guys rode first row. First, a little moan, because you know I love a moan. So, as we were in the station, the uh, train was e stopped just going up the lift hill, um, and it turned out I guess had their phone out. Great, amazing operations. The team went over, confiscated the phone, sent the train round. Fine. Then there was loads of faff. And from what we can gather, it looked like because they had an e stop, they needed to like record it. But my issue is that they, the team didn't communicate at all with any of us, like waiting in the air gates, like we didn't know what was going on and the team operating the ride were just kind of like stood there like faffing around and it's like I get that it's hot and it's annoying and like operating a, a park and a ride like it is a lot of work and it is intense and you do have to make sure everyone's safe but it's like just talk to people there's also a whole the other minute... train of people in the brake and then, oh there, yeah there was a whole train of people sat on the brake running in the heat and I heard one of the, the um, operators say to the, say to the other operator there's a whole train out there waiting in the heat and the guy yeah I am yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the girl was like, oh, there's a, there's a whole train of people waiting on the brake run. He didn't care. He literally was like, meh. And it's just like, come on, go. Like, we can see you. Like, come on. Um, but it was really fab. Really, really fab. Better than I remember it being. I do still prefer Mako. Um, I think Mako's probably, I think Mako's probably my favourite hyper coaster. But it was really, really fun. The Helix was a little bit much for me in this heat, I will, I will admit. Um, yeah, it was quite intense, but yeah, really, really fun. We're having a Six Flags day, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> We're going on this now. <laughs> Daredevil dive. I remember last time we came, I was so bloody excited to go on this. And I'm not telling them this, but uh, it's not my favorite ride of the time. Considering how much I love Anubis, um, 
yeah, I was a bit disappointed by this. I think when I came on this, I had been on Anubis, and that's why I was like, oh, Daredevil Dive, this will be fun. Okay, so we've just been on Daredevil Dive. Right, let's talk about the coaster first. I've been on that coaster before. I remember absolutely hating it and thinking it was vile. This time round, the first drop it has like a little clunk to it, um, which was not fun. But the rest of it, totally fine, totally smooth. Lap bars make it really good fun. However, what was not good was the operations. So for some reason, the ride op decided that you're not allowed to self-batch. By that I mean, you know, if you're like, a, we're a group of five, for instance, the train in front, we all want to ride together, right? The train in front had space for two. So we were like, oh, we would normally look behind. Is there a two? Let them forward. No, no. This ride op, no, you're not allowed to do that. And he was yelling at everyone and just massively slowing down the operation. And then, when we were in the air gates, he basically wouldn't let these girls ride because they had done exactly that. He just like wouldn't let them ride. They were sat in the seats and he was like, no, you need to get off. So he made them get off. Me and Ben ended up sitting, no, no me and Alex, sorry, ended up sitting on the ride. That's really loud, sorry. It's loud. like that ride up he was on such a power trip he was such a job to have such a power trip i don't understand i don't know why um really annoying really annoying the theming of this is fab mind bender what did you call me what flavor banana split did they not have any um special flavors no. This is the best flavor. No, but they, flavor. there's no like Fury Free G5 flavor. Like they don't have anything like that. No. Dip and dots. Did, did the dip and dots guy give you any inf insider info? That's old school TBR. Yeah, so nothing won't work. Batman. It's the coaster they it ride. Is, it is, it is. <laughs> it's the coaster that Ed Helms. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the coaster they ride in that. So we're gonna go ride that. There's also like lot one of them like nasty old woodies, which y'all can y'all can have fun on that. Um, and I am gonna insist that we go on Monster Mansion. That's the main reason I want to come back to this park. So that and the ROC. Um, yeah, ops have been frustrating as hell. We tried to go on Mindbender. It went down, um, so annoyingly we have to come back to this corner of the park, um, but it's fine. The weather has cooled off a little bit as well. We've got beers. We're having a good time. It's a fun day. I want to go, so I'm gonna. It's getting better. Yeah. My God, the advertising nemesis Inferno at Six Flags. <laughs> we don't get yes. I'm so excited to ride this coaster. So the boys just went on the rapids. Ooh, look, choo choo train. That's cute! Cute! The boys just went on the rapids, we've had a little sit down. Oh my god, I forgot there was a Batman, not Batman, Superman flying coaster. Ew, shan't be riding that. Oh, that's really smudgy. Better? Hello. So bright. The vintage cars as well, that's fab. Don't talk about that. <laughs> yes, the boys went on the rapids and didn't get wet. They were shite. Yeah? 
Um, they're really short. The only sort of like sort of humidity moisture that I got on me was from other people. Oh, and it was ew. Sweat. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> so yeah, we uh, had a break from the coasters for a little bit, and now we are going on Blue Hawk, which is this giant, nasty mess of track right here. <laughs> Old school wooden coaster. Is it down? Yeah, down. Oh shit! Oh dear. Um, yeah, this big old mess of track right here. I am so excited to go on this. I love these things. Like, me and Alex, back in 2012, we went on... Um, Alex, what's the one at Magic Mountain called? Is it Viper? Viper. Viper, yeah. Viper's an arrow though, Triper. right? But anyway, these things. I don't love Goodrix, I will say that. But I really liked the one at Kings Island, <laughs> RIP. Um, water. Yeah. yeah, it was so fab. So I'm really excited yeah, to get on this because it was down when I came last time. And it's just look at it, it's fucking fab, it's massive. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and it's over water. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Cred turtle, look at him go, he's having a swim. What? Going on a hall of justice. Have you been on that one of these? Uh, no. Come no. oh, on, we're getting some air conditioning, that baby. Is, yeah. They're high tech military vehicles that So we just rode, what is this even called? Justice League. Justice League. Battle for Metropolis. It's my second one of those I've done. I did the other one in uh, Six Flags Great America. So good. And like Ryan's gonna Ryan's gonna speak in a sec, but I know exactly what he's gonna say. But it's it's exactly right. Like you wouldn't expect this ride to be in a Six Flags park because it's really good. Like it's kind of like similar movement to the uh, like the Spider-Man the ride vehicles. Like it, they kind of tilt, go around corners. The screens aren't like amazing, like universal quality by any means, but like it's still a really fun ride. There's some really good animatronics, really good sets. There's this Joker animatronics, it's crazy. I think it's Sally Dark rides. Um, I was shooting the uh, the heroes to start. Oh look, Superman's going! Yay! Presently, they're blacking out. They're blacking out. They're blacking out. They're not blacking out anymore. I still won't go on that. Um, but yeah, so fun. Like, so, so fun. I'm so glad we went on that. The, the boys have gone on to get the cred, but I was like, I don't want to do that. I want to go on the dark ride. And Ryan enjoyed it a lot. Very sweaty. I didn't expect him to do what he did. I saw on it, I was like, oh, it's just going to be a standard shooty dark ride. I'm going to go mince around on a track. And then, I can't say what I said on the ride, but let's just say this very sensory overload in a good way. Yeah, it's it was good. It was fab. Combination of sets, screens, everything you want. Oh my god, it's finally so done! Exciting. I'm so excited! Have fun, y'all! The Scarlet.
the holy fast. Look at that. Fucking chicken. Chicken. Oh my god, I remember the kids from there. Spirit taking food. Oh my god. Load. The graph I looks a bit weird. <laughs> Not as firmly friendly as I remember. No. Something's gonna go ring. Oh, it's so good. If you like animatronics and you like dark rides and you like Disney, if you like Disney stuff, you will love Monster Mansion. It's so good. I think it predates the uh, Disney stuff. I think, I watched a documentary and I think it, um, like Splash Mountain was like, it used to be like Song of the South themed. It's so bright. Ugh, sorry. Um, yeah, it used to be like Song of the South themed and then they changed it to Monster Mansion. Um, yeah, oh God. Very up my street. Very spooky. It's kind of like a ghost train but a boat ghost train. It's so good, I love it. It's my favorite ride in the park. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did you like it? We nearly capsized. <laughs> Did you love the spooky monster? Yes. Yeah, so so good. good. So good. So good. We're going back on the RMC now. We just ended the day with me and Ben where we had a lovely back row ride. And then a great front row ride. And then a fabulous back row was wild. On Goliath. Yeah. yeah. I said that for he's on the road So we had a lovely back row ride and then and then we ran round and we oh the front we just ended the day with a front row ride on Goliath. It was so good. Really, really good way to end the day. Um, as as per earlier the operations um not impressed to be honest um i've always in the past given six flags the benefit of the doubt i've always defended them when everyone's moaning about how oh, terrible six flags operations i've always given the benefit of the doubt and i think today has been my first experience of like don't give a shit six flags operations like i mean especially the team on Goliath, there was one girl who was clearly very frustrated with the rest of her team and she was like kind of calling on them to get their shit together. The rest of the team did not give a shit. They were messing around and they were like just taking their time, not keeping control of the queue, not organising, not batching, nothing. Um, and it's, it's not even just like, oh I'm getting frustrated because I'm waiting longer. So to put that into context, the park's been dead, everything's been saying a 10 minute queue or a walk on queue, whatever. Me and Ben have been in this, like in the Goliath area for an hour and we've managed to ride it twice. Despite the fact that there was never anyone in the station or in the air gates. Um, so yeah, it's frustrating, but the, the part for me that gets it is these are machines and they need to be respected and taken seriously. And when you see your, your team operating the ride acting like that, 
it it's just it's a little bit disheartening and it's not very um, reassuring you don't feel like you're in I don't want to say you're not in safe hands because these guys are obviously trained they obviously know what they're doing but it just makes you go mm, this isn't very professional I think that's probably like oh thunder um, yeah I mean the prof it's a lack of professionalism I think is what it is um, but yeah we had a uh, a lovely ride though. It's an excellent coaster. So, like enough moaning about the ops because you know I don't I don't usually like to do that on my on my uh, vlogs. We focus on the ride. The ride is fucking great. Really really good fun. I also um, these guys went to get the other credits that they needed, um, and I hung back and I went on. Um, I've been calling it Storm Chaser or whatever. What's it called? Twisted. The cyclone, cyclone. Twist, I got it right I've been calling it Twisted Colossus all day um, so I hung back and had another row uh, uh, go on Twisted I've forgotten it again Twisted Cyclone <laughs> I rode the back row it was really really fun I do still prefer the uh, front row but I had a really really good time riding it it's so fun really good RMC really re-rideable and uh, yeah I'm just really glad to finally get on it it was great what was I going to say? Oh yeah, well, I was talking about um, Twisted Cyclone, not Twisted Colossus or Storm Chaser or whatever the fuck I else I've been calling it. Twisted Cyclone. I rode it twice at the front, once at the back. Very much a front row ride for me, like I said earlier. Um, I did really enjoy Storm Chaser yesterday, um, but as I said earlier, it's very brutal. Um, whereas Twisted Cyclone felt much more re-rideable. Like every time we pulled into the brake front, even when I rode it in the back row, I was like, oh, I could go on that again. Um, it's very fun. Um, yeah, really good addition to the park, actually. Finally got to go on uh, Blue Hawk or Ninja, as it was called, the last time I rode it. That was really fun as well. I love those massive Vacoma things. And it was so smooth with the new, um, the new trains and like the vest restraints really really good fun i know people they have a bad rep people are like oh it hurts it's like it doesn't hurt it's very smooth it's very nice you hear that thunder can't you see it that is one cloud coming um so i am gonna wrap it up here we've had i would rather say we had a really good day we've had a nice day at six legs over georgia the operations have not been the best that's really laid it down because it's a really lovely park with some really excellent rides goliath is excellent twisted cyclones excellent blue hawk is excellent the hall of justice battle for metropolis justice league thing is excellent um what else is excellent oh monster mansion monster mansion oh my god my favorite ride in the park monster mansion i don't even did i even talk about it i don't even know but yeah finally got back on that ride absolutely love it um yeah i'm gonna try and wrap it up because it's gonna start raining any minute now um so thank you so much for watching this vlog if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please do consider subscribing especially if you like theme park stuff because that is what we do here uh usually if i go to a theme park i'll bring the camera along so you can see what we get up to and let me know in the comments in terms of rmcs have you ever been on an rmc that's been retracked so you've been on like the before and after because i realized today i think twisted cyclone is the first instance of where i've been on i've been on the was it called the georgia cyclone is that what it was called before i've been on the georgia cyclone and now i've been on twisted cyclone and i think that's the only example of that that i can remember so let me know in the comments if you have also um done that or have 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 the kind of set of those um, i'm gonna wrap it up there guys thanks so much for watching the official day one vlog of the u.s road trip and i will uh talk to you later bye